have an idea for a business, you need to validate and test it as soon as possible. The market is growing too fast and new products appear every day. If you want to test your idea fast, instead of developing a complete product, it's better to create an MVP. This approach allows you to develop a product with basic functionality without spending a lot of time and money on it. By prioritizing the features, you save time and budget on development. As a result, you reach the market faster and get feedback from the first users. New products come to the market every day, but not all of them achieve success. The key problem many young entrepreneurs face is that their product does not meet the user's needs. As of 2021, 20% of startups fail in the first year, 50% within 5 years and 65% within 10 years. So it's better to test hypotheses with an MVP before making a full-fledged product. By demonstrating the basic functionality of the app, the MVP helps to save resources on design and development. As if Uber was just a button to call a cab, without driver tracking on the map and chat. By the way, that's how it was at the beginning. There is no point in guessing if an idea is a good one. A proven way is to release the product and gather feedback from users. The MVP allows you to quickly develop the first version of the product and to launch it faster. The sooner it goes on the market, the sooner you'll know if the idea is worth further investment or come up with something new. If you want to get funding for a project, you can go to investors. You can write letters or speak at conferences explaining in words what a badass product you've come up with. But the finished first version of your product, which already has users, is more convincing than any words could be. One of the important parts of MVP development is a user interface and user experience design. An appealing user interface design attracts users, while a smart design of user interface helps turn them into loyal customers. So where does a good product MVP design start? The design process doesn't really start with the design in the usual sense. To ensure a good user experience design for MVP, you need to do something else before. The simplest and most logical thing to start the market analysis with is to look at competitors' products. Designers look at the products and assess their usability. Is it convenient to use the application? How many steps do the users have to take before reaching the endpoint? What might they stumble on? Competitors' products help you figure out which good solutions already exist and which are not worth your attention. Analyzing the market helps you discover a better MVP development strategy. To paint the portrait of a target audience, a variety of techniques can be used, including surveys, focus groups, interviews, as well as user stories that help you figure out how exactly users interact with the product. For example, in pizza ordering app, it's better when the user opens the application and goes straight to the menu. Thus, the user will reach the end goal to order a pizza faster. Having analyzed the market, the designer creates user stories in order to determine the number of steps user will take to get to the end goal. The structure of the app turns into a step-by-step -step path for each role in the system. In the wireframes, the choice of font or color does not matter. This version of the site is closer to a draft than a finished product. The wireframes are aimed at presenting all the necessary content that goes into the interface. A number of factors should be considered, including space allocation, navigation, section separation, etc. Once ready, the wireframes can be transformed into a prototype. At this stage, customers can try the product at work for the first time and assess it. Once user scenarios are done, wireframes are thought out and layouts are agreed upon with the client, it's time to get down to the fun part. Colors, fonts, animations and styles, all of these are involved in the MVP product design. The visual part is the first thing that attracts the app users. If you want a food delivery app, for example, it's important to make sure that the photos used are of high quality and the colors match well with the product that will be presented in the app. For inspiration, you can look for examples of shorts and finished apps on Dribbble or Behance. 
Testing is an important step in the design process because it helps understand if the design works for users. At this stage, the team tests the product with both stakeholders and end users. Through the testing phase lies the path to providing users with a better user experience. The designer creates two versions of the app design and compares the results of how users interact with both of them. It takes the guesswork out of deciding what will work best. Instead of hoping you choose the best version, you have accurate data to confirm which version works better. Testing, where users can try the product in real time, it can answer many questions. Do the objectives of the tested product meet the customer's requirements? Is the navigation convenient? Is the functionality understandable for users? What the bugs can appear when using the product and how to fix them? In the MVP design, it is crucial to remember that user experience is just as important as a pretty interface. When we go into the app, we don't think much about the steps we take, it happens intuitively. That's what a good UX designer's job is all about. We believe the MVP approach is the most competitive option when it comes to software development, as you never know how users react until you launch the product. With thoughtful MVP application design, your product will easily win the hearts of users. To develop and market your product fast, in most cases, it's easier to hire an outsourced team. You don't have to hire each person separately because you already have all the people you need in an outsourced development team. Project managers, designers, developers, testers and even more. The work in the outsourced team is more coordinated than if you hire freelancers from different parts of the world. If you hire a freelance designer and a freelance developer, for example, you may face the problem of technical feasibility. So, if the first one makes a complex design, it does not mean that the second one can develop it. Being the communicator between them and making sure that the project goes smoothly will be up to you. In an outsourced team, designers and developers work hand in hand and the project manager makes sure that everything is done correctly and on time. At Ron SAT, we can make UIUX design, branding, graphic and logo design, or develop a web or a mobile product. We will help you to launch the working version of the product in three months in order to increase profits or reduce operating costs. If you want to ask for the best application design and development, you can leave a request at runsit.com.